I want you to look at somebody and tell them we have hell surrounded. Uh, tell somebody else hell won't prevail. Now, it is always a psychological battle to walk with God. It is always a battle within the mental parameters of my physical self. And I think sometimes the anxiety is because we are physical people living in a material world trying to maintain a relationship with a spiritual God. It's always psychological because I am touching a God that I can't touch. I am watching a God that I cannot see. And saying to myself consistently that he is with me even though I have never seen him. It is not the conflict of Christianity, it is the conflict of the individual person. To be able to maintain relationship and find within the lab, the heart the audacity to walk with God. You want to give yourself some credit because you are walking with a God that you have not seen. And you are defending uh, the principles of scripture. You are defending the name of Christ because you have moved into a realm of faith that has made you biased to anti-Christian perspective. Because I know God for myself. I'm not interested in what anybody else has to say. It is a faith that is given and it is given to us by God. And we have to admit that God is definitely who he says he is because all of us who occupies this uh, architectural monstrosity we believe God because of God's deposit if that is the case uh, it would be impossible for any of us to say that we don't have faith because God, according to scripture, has given every man a measure of faith. When you deal with uh, the word measure from its etymological root, it means uh, one yard. And the Greek calls it uh, the metron, the metron. And it says that it's, it's actually one yard. So everybody here has at least one yard of faith. And uh, that's, that's wonderful to know because if I have faith as the grain of a mustard seed, I can move mountains. Now, if I can move mountains with faith as a grain of a mustard seed, Imagine what I can do with one yard of faith. It is deposited into the, the, the nephesh, the soul. It's, it's deposited into the individual outside of time and it's deposited because God is all-knowing. He's all-knowing. And the enemy uh, dates that you and I do not understand the uh, auspiciousness as it relates to the omnipresence, the omniscience of God. He dates that we will not dig into God's knowledge. 
and God knows all things and so faith is deposited as a response to the rebellion that is going to happen in the garden of Eden he, he puts it in place because he is God uh, he is omniscient he he knows all things he he is overwhelming in his intellectual capacity he is amazing in his ability to calculate and to dominate because he is God so everything that he does he does outside of time because he understands that conflict is going to arise and the individual who cannot see him touch him taste him smell him will need him so he puts things in place to make sure that despite the negative that those who believe in him will come out and come out all right oh uh, yes he he puts it in place you uh, you you can't lose because god has gone before you and he has made the crooked pathway straight he has called your in at your beginning he's god and because he's god i can relax i've got to learn how to relax because he's god if he saved me then what can the devil do if he chose me then how can the devil win because god does not waste time choosing individuals that don't have destiny as a matter of fact when god chooses you he does not choose you to lose you but he chooses you to use you uh -huh. the choice is made and the choice is made outside of time it's made outside of time and that choice indemnifies that the hand of God is on an individual's life now the conflict has to be introduced because God has come into the world and, and and that's who Jesus is he is the incarnation of God he is God in the flesh 